Hello and welcome to this quick advanced solid effects video tutorial. In this video I will show how you can create texture transitions using advanced solid effects. So let's create a new level and a new material. Inside this material we will need to place a dissolve material function. I will use planar dissolve in this case. I will create a transition between these two textures. For the transition I will use a linear interpolate node and connect it like this. The alpha value comes from the opacity mask output of the material function and as you can see we have our transition we probably want a sharper transition so I will use an if node like this and I will type in default the default of mass cliff value then I will create two constants and use this modified opest mask like this and here we have our sharp transition now let's connect msiv and see what happens as you can see we have msiv in the below part in the lower part which we don't want to have So I will multiply the MCV with the modified opacity mask. And here we have our MCV. Now let's see how that looks in the level. I will use this mesh. And of course I need my helper blueprint. Then I will create an instance of the material and apply that to my mesh and when I go into play mode we will have our texture transition let's use a smaller border now let's use the ramp border option and for that I will need to select this and to make things more visible I will use 0 as my mask power and we have some problems as you can see our texture transition is taking place here and we want that to happen somewhere around here and for that one I will use a subtract node connect it like this and I will use a small value like 0.15 And actually we have lost some of our emissive and that's because we don't need to multiply it with the opest mask anymore. Actually we will need some we will need one more trick maybe. Okay, so here we are and our texture transition is taking place inside the emissive border as we like and we actually don't want the texture transition to show up at all and to hide that we will need some trick the dissolve functions normally modify the original color of the material and darken the area under the emissive but we can't use that as its intended way in its intended way because we are using the opest mask output as an input for our color computations 
so we will have to use a trick a very simple one i will use white as my original color which will give me a mask that i can use to darken my base color so i will use that for that purpose okay so here's the final thing and that's related to the ramp texture actually as you can see we have our ramp textures alpha channel like this and it's also clamped on the x-axis which means we will have white at points beyond the white part and we will have black at points beyond the rightmost part so we are also using that to darken the the base color so that's why we have black here it's the clamped part and this problem can be solved by a different alpha channel which has white at both ends And this solves our problem. And finally, there are two other things that I'd like to mention. As you can see, we have black at both right and left side of our texture here. I mean the RGB components, of course. And if you don't have that, you will have color showing up on your texture like this. So keep that in mind. And the other one is, the other thing is about levels. As you can see, we have 0.6 as MC border level here. And the MC border is created between 0.3333 and this value. And as you remember, we subtracted 0.15 from our op opacity mask. So when you add 0.15 and the default opacity mask clipping value you will get this value and as you can see our texture transition goes beyond the MC border so you need to keep this value larger than the sum of those two numbers okay so this concludes the video thanks for watching and advanced dissolve effects is available at the Unreal Marketplace bye